if you can recall, there was a state of emergency with regulations and rules just for San Pedro in the beginning. Right. It's when we discovered that the first case or first and second case were in San Pedro. So there was a state of emergency and rules just for San Pedro, just for Ambergiski. Then the situation got a little more intense in, in the city to the point where we decided to suspend that San Pedro rules and regulation and institute a set of rules for the whole country. And this was April 1st. So April 1st, the Governor General signed a new state of emergency, new rules that would apply not just to San Pedro or to the rest of the country, but the whole country. And so from April 1st to April 30th, we started out with rules for the whole country that we thought would have lasted until the end of this month, the 30th of April. As you know, things got very dicey in the Cayo district. And what we did was amended the regulations that were set from April 1st to April 30th. We amended those to make special rules just for Cayo that were extra strict. So we had the whole country with rules that were strict and then special rules for Cayo that were extra strict. You remember that? And then the situation got more intense, more cases developed. And so what we essentially did was that we said that from April 11th to April 25th, we would make the entire country be extra strict like Cayo and then make Sundays be extra, extra strict. You're with me so far? So that is where we are right now. We have regulations that started April 1 that will end April 30th. But within that period, we designated April 11th to April 25th as an extra strict um, period like we did for Cayo, because we felt that we needed to do it that for those 14 days. Those 14 days will end Sunday morning. When we wake up Sunday, we're into new rules and regulations because the extra strict situation from the 11th to the 25th will come to an end. 